Alright, welcome back y'all. It's Big Al and this time around we've got a challenge locking device uh, called Abbey Normal by West Coast Picks. Um, Abbey Normal, that's what it says on the key tag. Um, the key is somewhat, it looks like we can probably pop that off, but personally I, I really don't like to see the key until I've got the lock open, so we'll just, we'll wait and peek at that afterwards. We can get it open. I did open this one a minute ago just to see if I could. So hopefully I can do it again on camera because uh, I actually had a fail and an open. So we're kind of uh, we're kind of 50 50 here. We'll see if we can pop it on camera. Let me get the camera situated a little better. That's a little better. All right. So yeah, Abbey Normal. <clears throat> Excuse me, by West Coast Picks. Uh, I'm gonna go obviously top of the keyway right here, and we'll go. I guess clockwise and I'm gonna use this um, short hook Peterson it's got the flat top pretty much like the jam except for it's just nipped off all right so bada boom bada bang let's do this go in and look for the first binder which is right up front I don't know if that was good or not. Let me let's let's find out. Okay. Didn't feel too good. I'm gonna let that drop. I don't know. It feels like I gotta put quite a bit of tension on this thing. Four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it just popped. Alright, so that's the quickest one I've ever I've ever got on that sucker right there. Alright, let's see. Uh that was almost I'm gonna take it. Cause uh let's take it. Let's see what's in this thing. Alright, let me back out a little bit. Uh yeah, I'm not sure what happened right there because it felt like I only picked about four pins. So let's bring the camera down and make sure everything's kosher in this thing. Sometimes I wonder, you know, when locks get passed around a lot, you kind of wonder if they got put back together the right way. We'll find out right now. Let me center that sucker. Because uh, I did have a fail also right before I put the camera on, so... Uh, let's find out what's crackalacking. Bada boom, bada bang. Alright, let's get this crap out of the way. We don't need that. A little spring. Okay, the key. Looks like... Well... Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was about as easy as getting the lock open. All right, so there's the bidding on the key. Maybe that's why. It's not that hyper. Okay, so let's see. Let's get that in there. We'll go ahead and shim it just for the heck of it. All right. Let's find out what happened there. Yeah, I mean, they're all there, and they're all working. That back one, that's probably why. That back one barely needed anything, so I probably just pushed that one up just enough, and that's when it popped, so that's probably why. All right, one and the two. I'll tell you what, it feels nice getting something open. I don't know why. I've got one of those uh, quick set smart key padlocks. And uh, for some reason, that thing has given, been giving me absolute horror. 
I cannot pick that thing to save my flipping life, and I don't know why. Oh, it's right here. Let me grab it. It's this one right here, the smart key. And I mean, it's not even that gnarly of a bidding. But I guess because it's got the sidebar thing and the smart key locks, um, I'm not used to them. But I have not been able to pick this SOB one time yet. Uh, so, anyway, sorry. Back to the lock. Uh, let me see. Let me get some specs on here. And it looks like there is some mods. Looks like kind of an undercut in two, and then threading in three and four, but just a little bit on the top. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's threading or an undercut in four. Now I'm not sure it's in two. Because it feels like it's only on one side. Unless it's just wore out. But I do see some threading in there. Let me just show you. You see that? It's just in the top part. Throw off the feel, of <clears throat> the feel a little bit. Okay. Going upstairs. I know I put a shim in there. There we go. Okay. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. Hey, if you're just starting out doing this stuff, by the way, I've showed this before. I know you can't always use this follower like this, but if you can, put this thing going up and down. Use the tweezers to go in real slow until that first pin comes up, and then use the tweezer to let it come up slowly. Then if there's any kind of two-piece pins, it stays in there. It's not going to fall over because of the slot. So it, it, it's a it's real good idea for uh, getting locks apart. Just a little tip there. <clears throat> I know a lot of you already know that, but for the newcomers, and again, go to number two, do it the same thing. See, I'm pinching it in the back so I can push it real slow so it doesn't go flying through. Go to the next one, bring it up real slow so it doesn't come shooting out. Same idea. Bada boom, bada bang. And just repeat. Same thing. Nice and slow. That's a wild looking pin there. I got a feeling this is one of uh, West Coast Pick's early locks. Because I've had some of West Coast Pick's locks that really had me losing sleep. <clears throat> Excuse me, golly. Oh, a little tiny spring in that sucker there. And last but not least, same thing, real slow. All right, that should be it. Yep, okay. Uh, I don't think that can bend off, so no mods up there. No mods in the Bible. All right, so let's see what we got. Bada boom, bada bang, baby. See, yeah, I like that number five pin. I have a feeling somebody put that in the other way, but I could be wrong. You see which way that fifth fifth driver is turned? That's the way it came out. So, any hoodles. That's what I got. Alright, where's my pointer? Key pins. Now, these are definitely quick set key pins. Okay, that's why. Uh, yeah, now I get it. Quick set key pins, y'all. Especially when you use them in a challenge lock. Quick set key pins are tapered. These things are tapered on both ends. So basically, oh, sorry, tapered on both ends. So basically, that makes that shear line real easy. So it's like that on uh, all these key pins. That's why it opened up so easy. So I'm not that good. And then these drivers, uh, it looks like they got some kind of crimps on them. Yeah. Almost looks like they were done with some kind of uh, dikes or wire cutters. Yeah, they're kind of oddly crimped. And then this one, I'd say, I have a feeling that was upside down. But that's how I got the lock. Alright, so anyways, Abbey Normal by West Coast Picks. I do appreciate it. Um, 
please uh, if you like the video as always give it a thumbs up and comment and I will get back to you I'm not that big time so I do read all my comments and I was gonna say something else too oh this lock I've been meaning to mention this since that went so quick I can I got this lock I think it's one of the locks that uh, one of the many locks uh, Lockwood locks that uh, funky monkey sent I believe that's who sent this one and it was sent without a key and uh, so what I ended up doing was I drilled and pulled out the uh, plugs from the side right here got all the pins out and it turns out the flipping quick set key actually fit perfectly in that sucker uh, so I ended up uh, one by one I put a couple cuts in this key with my little uh, leashy key cutter just basic cuts and then I slowly went one by one and dropped the pins in because I can't get the core out so I just dropped the pins in and did them one at a time until I matched them all up I haven't put the uh, springs in yet but I'll put the springs in and cap it back up and the lock works like a charm so salvaged it and made a key to fit it so very cool anyways thought I'd show that off it took a lot of a lot of work to do that <laughs> a lot of time really to do the pins match the pins to the key all right again uh, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and please comment I will get back to you and that'll wrap this up Big Al signing out <laughs>